Whew. Finally, in just a couple of hours, 2022 will be over. <laughs> I can't wait, guys. It's not a game, it's a red thing. So I woke up this morning and I had a brief moment of introspection. I just had to take a run through my entire 2020, you know, put into consideration everything that had happened, everything that I had gone through, um, the pandemic, um, everything, guys, every single thing. In fact, I've been having this feeling of dread, like I've been dreading how the year is going to end, how 2021 is going to start. I've just been on a low-key panic mode. <laughs> yes, guys, I won't lie. I've been on a low-key panic mode because I don't just know what to expect. How is 2020 going to end? And how is 2021 going to commence? Guys, I don't know. I've been having cold feet. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah, and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. This is the girl with the tea. And on this video, I'm just going to basically talk about the things that I am grateful for, for 2020. Um, typical of what the Bible says, um, count your blessings, name them one by one. It's to surprise you what God has done. And in my mind, it's all about expectations also for what 2021 will bring. So um, as you watch this video, guys, please feel free to also count your blessings in the comment section below. Let me know what those great memories are for you. For 2020 yes i understand that 2020 came with a bang the pandemic which is still ongoing in so many countries anyways but um regardless of it all the fact that you are able to watch this video today it means that that is actually a blessing because you're alive you did not die nothing happened to you you know but i wouldn't know the whole story if you don't share with me so please go ahead in the comment section below so the first thing that i am grateful for for 2020 was the courage to walk away from a very very horrible nine to five job that one guys it took a long time coming my fear you know when you work in a place where you're not enjoying what you're doing you're not enjoying your job you are not comfortable in the environment the environment is um, very very toxic you want to escape you want to leave that place but your fear is, oh my God, this is Nigeria. If I leave this job, how am I going to get another job? Because in Nigeria, every typical Nigeria will tell you that to get a job, to get a nine to five job in Nigeria, it's not about what you know how to do. It's about who you know. You know, so I was just questioning myself like, oh my God, who do I know? You know, how am I going to beat this whole stress and hustle? You know, by the end of the day, I found that courage, you know, even though it came um, as a shock, it came somehow, but the courage to walk away. Yeah, to walk away. And then at some point, I felt like my life was just going to be very, very miserable. You know, I'm not having a nine to five job. What are you going to do? Blah, blah, blah. And then I threw on all my energy into my YouTube and other things that I do. I even started off a business. You know, so the fact that the business was able to help me stand, mm -hmm. YouTube was also um, able to help me stand. Guys, I am completely, totally grateful. So that is one big achievement for me in 2020, guys. I'm not, not even going to miss words. That is one very big achievement for me in 2020. And the second one is getting a new apartment. You know, some people don't see these things as a big deal because for some people, it's not part of their list of priorities. For some people, it's not one of those majors for them. For them, it's probably a minor on their scale of pre preference or their list of priorities. But for me, guys, it was actually a very, very big deal. This is something I, I, I've been praying for for over a year. So this is how my life works. Um, towards the end of every year or at the beginning of every new year, um, I write down a list of things that I need in my life. I, there's so many things that I need and the way I do it guys, I categorize it into um, socially, my social life, my relationship life, financially, um, spiritually, physically. I basically categorize my needs like that for the new year. You know, so 
that apartment one that was something that it has taken a long time coming yes i mean this size of apartment is something that i have always wanted i mean for the past two three years but it did not happen the way i wanted it because i couldn't afford it as at that time you know and then 2020 was just that year that sealed the deal for me and i cannot stop being excited because guys i won't lie to you the peace of mind i have now eh? <laughs> god money can actually pay for it <laughs> because it was actually money that i spent you know guys so if there's anything i am really really grateful for for 2020 it's moving from my old apartment guys a lot of madness actually happened in my previous apartment and it's a story that maybe someday someday soon i will find the courage to share but for now i think i wanna just keep it on a low key but being in a new space in a new environment in a new apartment much bigger much quieter guys you have no idea how grateful i am guys my gratitude knows no bounds so that is another second miracle second thing that i am grateful for for the year 2020. the third thing that i am very very grateful for guys hmm, it's the gift of life not just from you but in my family in my my tiny little circle so on october 12th 2018 um, I got a call 6 a.m. in the morning that my dad was sick. The next five minutes, I got a call that he was dead. Guys, I've received so many shocking news in my lifetime, but you see that particular one? It shocked me to the bones because anybody that knew my dad, they know that that man, nothing can bring him down. My dad is one of the strongest humans I know. Since I was born, I've never seen or heard that my dad was sick never so probably he was sick and then he would cover it up you know he would always say that no he's well there's nothing wrong with him but to cut, cut the long story short i lost my dad in 2018. then february 2019 precisely 18th of february my eldest brother our first son he died and the circumstances surrounding his death was very very i don't know it was very very it was most shocking guys i don't even know how to describe it i don't want to even bother going into the details but the gross thing about his death was the fact that he was found dead in his apartment and he had been dead in his apartment for over three days no for three days we had been calling him we've been looking for him and nobody just knew that that was the situation guys I don't know, but to date, every time I think about it, I have shivers down my spine. I have goosebumps. My family still haven't found closure over it. My mom still haven't found closure. You know, so ever since, my biggest prayer point, guys, I pray. Oh, <laughs> forget all this for how I do. I pray. My biggest prayer point has been that nobody around me, none of my friends, none of my loved ones, nobody I know in my life will ever die that way or any other way you know and i've been praying guys even when the whole coronavirus thing it was very very strong in nigeria i don't it's still in nigeria by the way you know so everybody please be careful but my biggest prayer point has been god please protect my family protect my loved ones protect everybody in my life protect me inclusive you know guys that has been my biggest prayer point and Listen guys, this is the last day of 2020. You don't even have any idea how grateful I am. Every day I go around, I do a routine call, a routine check, calling every single member of my family, calling every single person, my mom, everybody is alive, everybody is well, everybody is healed and hearty and healthy. Uh, how do you say guys, that English is very big. But everybody is well, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. You know, so I'm just super, super grateful. You know, even my friends who are my friend who is in the UK where they are having very, very crazy, drastic increment of this pandemic, you know, a new variant of the virus. I keep on praying for him and his family and his friends and everybody around him that he's well, that he's alive, you know, guys. And I must confess that is one of the biggest wins for me 
in 2020. If you've never lost anybody in your life before God, trust me, don't pray for it. Don't even wish for it because <laughs> you will never find closure. That's just the truth. So um, that is actually the biggest and the most major win for me for 2020. I do not take it for granted. I will never take it for granted. So that's number three. Now the number four thing that I am really, 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 really grateful for for the year 2020 guys is I made my first plenty, plenty millions. So I put it that way because I am not even sure how much the millions are because the money was coming. I was using it for stuff, you know, and I, the first part of the money, I got it in a very, very whooping sum. And the other part of the money is still in a very whooping sum, you know, so I made my first plenty millions. <laughs> Guys, let me, let me just put it simply. I became a millionaire in 2020. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, Guys. Each time I think about that particular one, I smile. I am happy. Because one of the biggest things, one of the biggest fears I have in my life is being broke. Guys, you don't want to be broke. I've been broke several times in my life. And for every time that I am broke, I get creative. In the sense that when I am broke, I don't know how to call people and beg people for money and ask people for money. So that's when you see me starting up a new business. In fact, guys, it was as a result of me being broke. <laughs> But I started off two different businesses that I have. I've registered the other one. The other one, I haven't really registered that one yet, but I'm just going to push it on the, the one that I have registered. So guys, hmm. when I was seeing those millions flowing into my account, I'm like, okay, girl has arrived. <laughs> I haven't arrived, shall, but it was just a thing of joy for me, guys, because it took a long time coming. It took a long time coming. And that is why in my previous video, I said, that I constantly, constantly am thinking of innovative ways of new and better ways to make more money, to do more financial investment, you know, to be very, very much financially independent. So guys, let me not just beat around the bush in that on that particular one, because I'm going to definitely do um, an entirely different video in 2021 to enlighten people, to share with you guys about how I made my first million million. Like I said, I cannot put a specific figure to it because I don't know how much it is yet. I have to sit down and calculate it, okay? Even though it's not really much for some people, but for me, it's actually a lot because it's my sweat. I worked hard for it with the help of my friend. We worked very hard for it. So when the money dropped, boom, it was like a dream, <laughs> okay? So that's that one. And then the fifth, the fifth thing that I am very, very grateful for for 2020 is my channel. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Listen, every time I visit my own YouTube channel and I check my subscriber count, guys, I, it just throws my mind back to that year, <laughs> as people would say. It throws my mind back to that year when I had only 96 subscribers, when I had only 100 subscribers, you know, it always makes me smile. Sometimes it makes me laugh hysterically because guys, um, that year was rugged. That year was rugged. I remember how I'll put on WhatsApp or my WhatsApp status or how every video I upload to my channel, I will send it as a link on WhatsApp to my contact. And I'll be begging them, oh, please watch my video, please like, please subscribe, please share, please blah, 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 please da, 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 da. I was begging. I was a WhatsApp beggar. I post it everywhere. I wasn't even functional or even active on Instagram or even Twitter, you know. But WhatsApp, yekba, guys, I was a WhatsApp beggar. I wasn't begging for money or any other thing. It was just for people to just watch my video, like it, share it. Guys, I was begging. And guess what? They weren't. <laughs> they were not. And listen, I will not blame them because this is one thing I've learned about life. People love to be associated with success, you know. So these same people that I will send my links, my YouTube video links to, you know, and even beg them to share with their contacts, guess what? They were not doing any of that. But then if they were to see maybe any other video, maybe a comedy video or maybe just one motivational video from YouTube, they will share it to me. So me, I should use my data and watch. I'm like, this life is not balanced. <laughs> you know, but that really 
it, it really almost was very very discouraging because it made me feel like what is wrong with my content why what is wrong with me why are people not being supportive you know but that's long story for another day Sha. because today i don't even bother sharing my videos to anybody on whatsapp i don't bother sharing my videos to anybody you know people basically go ahead and look for my video and watch it and then they come and start sending me messages on social media oh glory i watched your video oh my god you are doing great i'm so proud of you i'm like mm -hmm. you're proud of me <laughs> so guys trust me 2020 is that year that regardless of all of its ups and downs guys i scored a lot of major goals and i am super proud of myself so the last but not the least one that I am really, really grateful for the year 2020 before the year finally ends is that the FSWG brand was actually noticed by another major, bigger brand. Whew, guys, the day that one happened, I was so... I was so happy. I was so excited. I had just, I had so many mixed emotions coursing through my veins. But at the end of the day, I just had to just remind myself that glory whatever you're doing people are actually watching people are watching people are monitoring people are just watching what you're doing because they want to know how far you go with what you're doing or just want to see how good you are or how professional you are i don't know whatever now the, the deal is a lot of brands actually contact me every every day like every time i go through my mailbox there's so many emails a lot of them from international brands but then my fear is there are just too many scamming emails out there you know so sometimes i'm scared of even opening those emails you know but this particular one i try to test the waters and see how it goes you know when it comes to brand influencing and <clears throat> it actually worked out great for me so at the end of the day i have nothing to say but thank you lord guys i am just so excited anyways guys all of these points that i i gave you guys on this video i might do a follow-up video to talk about them one after the other about how each of them happened so um as i said at the beginning of this video please go ahead and share with me your 2020 major wins your major goals scored in the year 2020 and gosh i look forward to learning or hearing or reading from you guys as well so happy new year in advance guys oh my god i am so happy that everybody is definitely going to see the end of 2020 and we are also going to see the beginning of a refreshing amazing new 2021 god forbid no more pandemic god forbid no more wahala god forbid no more headache oh god please let 2021 be a fresh year <laughs> all right guys i'll see you guys in another video have an amazing amazing day bye and stay safe.